Hey, I'm Louis Cole. In 2007, I moved into a double-decker bus and converted it not only into my home, but also a youth club on wheels and a party bus with a built-in recording studio. I worked all around London with at-risk youth and tried to provide a safe space to hang out and be inspired. Then in 2012, I acquired a retired London tour bus with a dream to convert it into an epic events bus to have parties, go on road trips to festivals, and most importantly, to put a hot tub on the top deck and fulfill a childhood dream. After it had been sitting un used for four years, I had finally saved up the funds to embark on the ultimate double-decker conversion project. I enlisted the help of my friend, and finally, my dream was becoming reality. Unfortunately, this project did not go to plan. It took way longer than expected, went through lots of painful and expensive iterations, and hit into many obstacles. Eventually, it overran the budget astronomically with it costing over £100,000. After all that, the bus was only used a couple of times and then sat deteriorating and collecting dust for another four years as my life took an unexpected direction and I ended up traveling full time and then moving to the US. Fast forward to today and I'm beginning another new chapter of my life with my wife Raya in our eco village in Costa Rica. We're focused on saving up money to build our dream house in the jungle and really want to find a way to make income from this bus. After much deliberation, I've decided to restore the bus and adapt it as a tiny home to rent on Airbnb. In this series, I'm documenting the project of upgrading this bus and preparing it to be an exciting getaway for people to come and stay on. Just spoke to the guy. He's, he's blown an airbag on the recovery truck and it's unusable. So he's got his other mate coming up from Gatwick to take over and tow it. But she's not gonna be here for an, an hour. So I, I said to him, we'll go get what we need and meet him back here and to meet the other guy in an hour. <laughs> so, a little adventure. Hopefully that's only delayed us an hour of work today. We have the new recovery truck in position. The bus is loaded up and we are back on the road, hopefully. Hopefully no more problems. We have arrived. This is the gate on the right that we're gonna drive into. Woo. Nice. So it. So it. The tow guys have left now, left me to my own devices. I've got the bus on their little track into the field that we just scouted out. So hopefully it's all gonna be good now. Oh, this is awesome. I'm a little bit worried about how it's gonna handle some of these little hills and stuff, but should be fine. Very tight. We want to get quite far out this way. Then come in. Hopefully not going to hit any branches. Nice and tight there. That's all right, you know. That's lovely. Lovely. I'm not going to go down there. That looks too narrow, so I'm going to come down here. I think we've got this. I think we've got this. This is where we're going to have it parked on the left. Too close to the hedge. Yeah. And then it's it looks like it starts um sloping a bit more. This is perfect. So most of the big dramatic transformations already happened. Today's just gonna be fiddly, just gluing on bits of vinyl that have come off and painting corners. But we've just opened up the the side of the bus here, the hatch and it is just so beautiful 
Look at that, it just opens straight out into this field. Oh wow. Upstairs. Is it looking good? Upstairs, amazing. I got the, the beds in, out to the back. We could probably start inflating the hot tub. Right, I've just got a new fitting for the hose. So that's gonna be our temporary water. We're gonna plumb it in properly, but next couple of days we've just got this hose. There's so many plumbing fittings in the back because originally we were plumbed into these huge water tanks. But right now we've got the hose coming in here into where the big water pump for the water tanks is. And then we've got all these fittings going to the kitchen, upstairs to the hot tub, to the shower. So I'm gonna see if this all works and then if it doesn't, I'll yell at my dad to stop. Okay, dad, turn it on. It's looking good. It looks good. It sounds like the kitchen taps on. Check the tap on it. Let's test the water, see if it's working. Oh, right, lots of buffing around. Just blew a fuse in the plug, just fixed it. I'm gonna try and get the hot tub up now, that'll be fun. Look at this location, oh my gosh. Still can't get over it. Right, we just got out of Ikea, buying all of the supplies for the bus. That was 800 quid just for like bedding, kitchen things. We're gonna load up now, head to the bus and uh, do the finishing touches. Now the bus is in its spot. Me and Raya have come back now today to do the finishing touches. This is Raya's speciality. It's getting everything looking really pretty. Mm -hmm. You excited? Yeah. What do you think of the spot? I'm just blown away. This is like the perfect British countryside. There's literally a willow tree with a pond, rolling hills. I just can't, I can't believe it. It couldn't really be better. The fact that we can walk to all the activities too. Mm. Yeah, this farm so here fun. has like crazy golf. It has like a corn maze. It has like a petting ice zoo, cream ice cream. Yeah. Anyway, I've got a few last final jobs to do whilst Raya's kind of beautifying. I'm gonna switch the stove out from the gas stove to a induction stove, which is very fancy, but it means we don't have to switch out gas canisters. There's not the danger of like propane blowing the bus up and all of that. It's very annoying. I've just run the 100 meter power extension cord that I got and I'm 15 meters short of getting power to the bus. So I'm gonna have to go out and buy more cable. All done. Ooh, wow. Isn't that nice? So nice. Okay, what's your job? I'm gonna be switching out these handles. They're fine, but I just think it's one of those things that if you just change like little details, it can really elevate mm. the space. So we've got some really nice black ones that will fit. So these are the current ones. Wait, are those black or silver? Black. Oh. So this broke, my dad tightened it, but I just feel like these are kind of cheap. They're all a bit like loose and yeah. yeah, not the greatest quality. So these are all being switched? Yeah. Okay, I've been out for the last two hours just picking up some things. We just got some amazing chairs off Gumtree, which is like Craigslist in the UK. Check these out. These chairs were 50 quid for all four with these really, really comfy thick pillows. That is a find. Raya has been just beautifying the bus whilst I'm gone, so I'm gonna come and have a look. Okay, so the kitchen's basically done. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I love these little plants. Yeah. Oh yeah, I like it. 
It looks so good. It looks so and the good. The coffee machine, and then over here I put the other Whoa. little plant. It's these little finishing touches that yeah. really bring it to life. Yeah, definitely. I oh love God. that everything so matches, good. like the matte black with it's the wood. So good. I know. I know this isn't the same luxury level as the school bus George has, but. Oh, it's really good. I, I <laughs> it's really polishes up. Well. Yeah, definitely. Oh, the handles look yeah, so good. Yeah, new handles. Except this one doesn't fit. What do you mean it doesn't fit? It's like the the nails don't line up. But I don't know why. All the other ones do. Super weird. You want to open it and then I can paint where the rusty bit is? Yeah. Should I paint with this paint again? Um, sure. Just on top of the rust. It's definitely going to get inside the paint though when I'm pre dipping. No, maybe leave me and I'll do I'll do this with the thick black paint. Okay. Okay, Raya is cooking on the new induction stove. How's it going? Good. Yeah. Really good. I need to close this door to be able to like get to the back. <laughs> but yeah. It's this is so epic with a big open mm -hmm. hatch and window. And my parents are about to arrive probably in like five or ten minutes, so it's going to be amazing. Plus you've got another four chairs, folding ones that work wow. with this, which you can have upstairs. Yeah, I mean. Folded ones. Oh, this is perfect. This is the perfect ball game table. Yeah. Absolutely. Right, we've just finished an evening with my parents. What did you think, Mum? Oh, it's lovely, yeah. Good and spot? Such, yeah, such a beautiful spot. Just perfect for the sunset. And... So good. We just had a lovely meal that Raya cooked and then we played Rummy Cube. And we're just talking about how incredible it is. There's no sound, it's absolutely silent here. Apart from the odd owl. It's so silent. Yeah, because we live in the countryside and the M25 is roaring, the A3 is roaring and planes are going by from Heathrow and Gatwick. But this is probably the countryside, isn't it? Yeah, so good. What do you think, Dad? Good spot for the bus? Um, amazing spot for the bus, and really close to the little toilet out there. Oh yeah, we've got, I don't know if we mentioned this, but there's a toilet block right there. Thanks for coming to join us for dinner and all the help over the last week or so. It's 7.30 in the morning. And today is our last full day on the bus. Today's gonna be the big reveal, the finishing beautifying touches. Hopefully, it's all sorted. But some of the last things I need to do is just touch up where the vinyl's ripped off. So I'm painting this section here. I've just painted two sections down there. One of the last little things, one of the last little things I need to do is build a shelf for inside the kitchen cupboard. So I'm going to store a bit of wood now, put little blocks either side so it can rest on it. It's been a few weeks since we originally parked the bus up, almost ready to go. We've got uh, a better power and water 
hookup so the power's not fluctuating, it's working well. That was our main issue. But George, who's helping me set this whole thing up and rent the bus and stuff, noticed a pretty bad leak the other day. There was a lot of rain and there was water leaking onto the downstairs bed. So today's mission is to fix the leak and figure out where it's coming from. We're taking up all of the floorboards upstairs on the roof. We've had to move the hot tub temporarily. We've potentially got a booking in one week time. That's right, George, isn't it? One week if we get it right. One week's time. <laughs> No pressure. If we can fix this. <laughs> I feel like it's always a scramble with this kind of stuff, so hopefully we can get it fixed. Okay, Dad, tell us what's happened. Well, there's a leak in the bus in the bedroom and it's coming from up top, so uh, first bit of advice was to clear the guttery bits and then inside is this blocked gutter thing. I'm about to pull it all out, but it's going to fill the car. Yeah. So I'm going to get a bit of shield here, and we're going to pull that out, let all the water come out. So, as you can see, just reflecting under these floorboards is just a pond of water. And I think that when that's pulled out, that's just going to be like a oh, in the fountain. Let's see. Uh, ready? Wow. I mean, that is. That's where the leak's coming from. <laughs> I mean, that is wild. Bye there if you go. <laughs> that is wild. I mean, I think that's I think that's all of the leak at the back is from that. Overlap thing where you got the natural grip, and it was like going down the size of the bus. I don't oh, think it's right. that, but what, I'll, what we'll do is we can put lots of gunk around Because the other way. ones were overhanging, so it wouldn't have dripped. Yeah, it'd have been there. <laughs> right. Well, let's clean it all up. I've done it. If we haven't noticed any rain. We've been pulling all these decking boards up one by one and just cleaning underneath, seeing where we need to fill in a few holes. And then we came across this pile of debris that's kind of uh, collected and pro probably dammed up some of the water flow and drainage, so we need to clear that up. We found a few holes which we're going to clean up and fill and hopefully this is going to solve some of our problems. Uh, one, two, that. three, four, pretty big holes. <laughs> And then we could gunk these up even more, can we, like around there? Oh, yeah. Okay. There's no obvious crack or place where the water's leaking in. Best conclusion we've come to is that that was really, really badly blocked. It was overflowing. It was essentially like submersing some of these gaps and it could have just been flowing through there into the bottom of the bus. So I think we're gonna seal this as best we can. There's not much more we can do than that right now. We've kind of cleaned up and we just need to screw all these floorboards down. When it sort of comes off the roof and comes down here, I think it doesn't just go down, I think it can go inside. So we should maybe particularly the other side. tape those as well. I think we can tape that. Yeah. Oh yeah. That was a... So if it drips in there, and then and then could it could it oh, kind yeah. of drip along and down? Yeah, let's tape those. Let's strip tape those. If you want to see a full tour of the finished bus, go and check out the video on our couple's channel linked below. I've also got some really exciting projects coming up on this channel, so if you aren't already, please subscribe. See you in the next video.